Lesson 80, we'll be completing tables with pre-designed formats. In Lesson 80, be sure to take a look at 80E. This is general information that you will find in your textbook. And then complete the Word Manual lesson on styles. Table styles have those pre-designed formats that you will be needing to use in this lesson. So don't skip the Word Manual lesson here. Then when you're ready, we're going to be completing Table 8038 first. Start work. We'll open the checklist here on the right. Begin by typing the table contents using standard formatting. So first of all, let's count the rows and columns that we need for this table. We need 16 rows and four columns. We will merge the cells for row one and set bold, center, and all caps. Press enter once and press return so that you have a blank line at the end of the title block. Then go back, select the title, and increase the font size to 14. Then when you're ready for the column heading rows, select the entire row, apply bold, and center. Now GDP wants you to put minimum deposit on two lines so delete this space, press enter, and then we're going to select the row again to bottom align these column headings. This is done with this command, align bottom center on the table tools layout ribbon. Now we're ready for the information. So let's just begin typing the information. And remember, no spaces or other keystrokes before the numbers or any other kind of information or data that you're typing in the cell. Here I am in the last cell of the table, ready to apply the dollar sign spacing rule, which we have encountered before. But it goes like this. Type the dollar sign, and then the number of spaces you need to leave depends on the longest number in the column. The longest number is 10,000. That is one digit more than the 4,000 that we have in this cell. The rule is two spaces per digit. So we need to space twice, one, two, and then type 4847. Here I believe I had turned show hide off. So let's turn it on to be sure that you can see the two spaces there in that cell after the dollar sign. Okay, this is how our table looks when we have simply typed in the data. We are ready now to right align the quantity columns. This includes the percents because those percent signs should be lined up above each other on the right. So select all the number columns and choose Align Text Right. The next step is going to be Auto Fit to Contents. And we're going to go ahead and center the table in both directions. And now we can apply our table style. Go to the Table Tools Design tab and you'll notice the Table Styles group. You open the gallery. If you move your mouse over the different styles, you can see the effect that it has on the table. I'm going to choose one that has a bold first column. Now, something I didn't anticipate is that applying the style here at the end has changed our horizontal alignment and it has unbolded several things that we're going to have to reapply bold to. Let's take care of that first. We want the text in the first row to be bold even though we applied that style. So reapply bold and column headings also must be bold, so we need to reapply it to institution. It is a good idea to bold the numbers in the last row, the average row. And then we need to recenter our table horizontally. 
Okay, here our table is looking good, so we're ready to save and submit it to GDP for scoring. Thank you.